Hello friends. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss one of the very important topic and uh, very interesting topic in JavaScript that is called as pop-up boxes. Actually, pop-up boxes gives us a way by which we can uh, interact with the user and the uh, or a user can interact with it, with its program directly. So in JavaScript, uh, basically these pop-up boxes are also called as dialog boxes by which a user can establish a dialog with a program okay so this javascript actually supports three type of dialog boxes or pop up boxes in which first box is called as alert box this alert box is generally used to display a message to the user that message may be a friendlier message or maybe a warning okay or sometimes it is also said that that it is often used if a user wants to make sure that the information is coming from the user side okay and this alert box generally contains simple text that we want to show and and button with uh, that says okay so when a user click okay the program proceeds and then it can perform other tasks also okay so it is something like that if, uh, if i say alert uh, this is message so it will uh, generate an alert box for the user saying this is message second type of box that javascript uses is called as confirm box confirm box so as the name suggests the confirm box is used when a user wants to verify or accept something okay so when a confirm box pops up it displays the message which user wants to show a program according to the program and it contains two boxes uh, sorry two uh, options buttons saying okay and cancel okay so if user clicks on okay this box returns true value and if user clicks cancel then it returns false value so it is up to the user whether he wants to accept or reject okay so this is for the confirmation from the user third type of pop up box or dialog box that javascript supports is called as prompt box this is very important box as uh, till now we don't have any example in which we in which a user can enter its input in the program so this provides us a way by which a user can input its values so prompt uh, prompt box supports the input facility by which a user can enter its input okay and it also contains the message suppose if i say enter a value so this will the uh, this will be the message then it contains a text box in which the some value has to be entered then it says okay and cancel so it says okay and cancel so if you want to enter a value you'll have to click okay otherwise you can click cancel that will return null value okay so these are three major boxes or dialog boxes that javascript supports for the interactivity with the user okay now let us take it the practical example of these boxes so first we will take a look at the alert box how alert box works so suppose if i want to show an alert message i'll have, i'll simply have to write alert then i'll have to write double quotes then in double quotes i'll say this is message and I'll put semicolon here 
If I save here, then this is how alert box works. It is saying this this system or this page says this is message and we have one option that is OK. When we click OK, then we can proceed. Till now, when uh, if we are not uh, clicking OK, you can see our page is still in the loading way, loading format. OK, so when I click OK, the page stops loading and then we can proceed with our program. OK, then second type of box that JavaScript supports for time being, I'm making it an Second type of box that JavaScript supports is confirm box. As we discussed, so we'll have to write confirm and I'll say uh, press a button. Let's save it. It is saying press a button and we now have two options that is OK and cancel. So if I click OK, it will return true. If I click cancel, it will return false. This is how confirm box works. Then third box that we have discussed is called as the prompt box. So prompt box is uh, having a format something like this. If I suppose if I say enter a number, okay, then you can say default value. I'll have to write default value. So default may be value, maybe suppose if I say zero, I say Save. Then you can see it is saying enter a number, then it is providing us a text box with the default value 0 because I have put the default value as 0. Then it is saying OK and cancel it. So if I click OK, it will return the value, otherwise, it will uh, return null. Uh, let us take another look. So if I say the default value is say 5, you can see enter number and default value now is 5. OK, and then it is providing two options OK and cancel. Moreover, we can also take this value inside a variable as an user input. So if I say enter a number and it is saying 5, now I, I say okay, enter number 10, it will click OK. So this 10 value will now be saved in X variable. You can check it. So if I say, if I say alert, the value of X is now you can concatenate it with the variable and can save it. Now you can see enter number I said uh, say 100. Okay. Now I say okay. You can see the value of, of x is 100. Okay. And if I say uh, the value of x is if I say again okay enter number I say 50 but this time I click cancel. So you can see the value of x is null. So when I click OK, it actually accepts a number, but when I say cancel, it, it is taking the value as okay. So in upcoming programs, rather than taking the static values of any variable, we'll be using these boxes to print our messages to take the input from the user. So that's it for now. In the upcoming lectures, we'll be discussing some uh, other topics of JavaScript. And if you still have any problem or any doubt, you can ask in our comment section and to support us kindly subscribe our channel thank you so much